we do want to welcome in Marissa Stabler to the program. Marissa, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am great. And I got to ask you, um, going back to that weekend, uh, what was that like? The wide range of emotions uh, for not only you, but but the rest of the Stabler family. And can you just give us sort of an overview of, of, of everything that went into the weekend and and your 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 top recollections from Canton. Yeah, um, it was certainly a roller coaster of emotion from a lot of tears, um, a lot of laughs, a lot of fun, uh, a lot of cheersing for sure, um, and toast. Uh, but I'm looking back on it fondly. It was it really was a wonderful and a very special time uh, to see the fraternity of players in Canton and um, how well they support each other, but also just hearing from so many greats, such as you know, Dan Marino and Jim Kelly, you know, getting to have those one-on-one conversations with them and the stories they had about my dad and how they looked up to him and what he meant to the game. It was, it was really fantastic. And then to, of course, to hear Brett Favre uh, mention my dad twice in his induction speech when so many people turned out uh, to see Brett go into the Hall of Fame and for him to take the time to acknowledge my father. Uh, he really didn't have to do that, but it certainly touched us very much. Marissa, it, it in my opinion, came too late. It should have happened before this year. But in some ways, did it seem almost appropriate that Brett Favre and Ken Stabler, two sons of the South, and really a couple of guys in terms of how they played the game, uh, were, were similar that they they sort of went in together this year? He, I mean, he couldn't have a better class um, to go in with. And, yeah, Brett, it's funny, my family and I were talking about the parallel path that the two of them have had and how similar they are that, you know, both both had long careers. Certainly dad <laughs> wasn't as long as Brett, but uh, having such long careers and uh, making the impact on the game that they did have um, and having so many people look up to them but really at the same time, they just always stay true to their route, true to the South, um, both returning, you know, after their playing days to settle back into, you know, their hometown areas. Um, and really the, the family men that they both are, um, it was, you could tell that Brett is a, a great father. and Certainly our dad was. Uh, so, yes, it was, it, it was nice to see him go in with such, such a great player, but also a great father. Marissa, as the father of a couple of girls myself, I know my girls think they know me. They know everything about me, right? But <laughs> maybe going through this process with your dad uh, in the last five, six, seven months especially, mm-hmm. what did you learn maybe about Ken Stabler that you didn't even know before all this started? Or, or was there anything that you that you did learn? There was so much that I learned uh really following, you know, after his passing, even the day or two and the NFL network was replaying, you know, all of these games that I've heard so much about. I've never actually sat down and watched, you know, each each one but I did. You know, it was Ghost of the Post and Holy Roller. And I was like, Wow, I get it now. <laughs> like, he was a badass football player. He was really, really good. Uh he just looked so comfortable in the pocket and just never succumb to pressure. So that was one is to really see that the talent and skill, but also just the ease that it looks so, he made it look easy. He made the game look easy. And then the other piece is that how loved he was. Um, you know, I, I grew up in um, Orange Beach, Alabama. I went to Gulf Shores High School, uh, went on to the University of Alabama. So I've always, I've always known, you know, dad and being surrounded by, you know, Alabama football fans and the admiration they had for him there. And that's certainly a, a very special relationship he had with the university um, and with the state of Alabama as a whole. And I, I knew I knew that part of it. But to see the Raider side, which we didn't really grow up around, um, and how, how much they just adore my father and um, the things that they would do for my father and how they've reached out to our family and they've certainly become an extension of our family. And it's, it's just, it's funny to look in comparison when you see like Alabama fans versus Oakland Raider fans, 
it's you know one thing they both have in common is they are definitely passionate. Uh, <laughs> they're definitely passionate about their team and their football players. Uh, you know, on Alabama game days, we you know put on our Sunday best and uh, and have our shakers and you know our khakis and polos and make our way to the game. Whereas <laughs> the Raiders are a little bit different. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they are definitely a colorful group and a colorful crowd. And I, it's so funny because I dad fits in so well within both of those fan bases. I, I can see why he. Um, the time that he enjoyed and why he has stayed, you know, throughout his life, you know, moving back to Alabama and, um, you know, being around that and, you know, doing color for the Alabama football game. And then also making those trips to Oakland and staying good friends with all of his teammates because it was just so much who he was is such a representation of both of those two audiences of the spectrum. Now we talk about, uh, the great things at the University of Alabama that your dad accomplished and the iconic status that he took on not only in college but also as you just outlined for us in the National Football League starting with the Oakland Raiders uh, before moving on to Houston and New Orleans but um, it all started in Foley, Alabama, right? And that's where we're going to have the focus tomorrow night is Foley High School as a part of the Pro Football Hall of Fame and Ford Motor Company paying tribute to your father uh, at the foley Robertsdale football game tomorrow night. Talk about you know, the, the, the special place that that was or is for not only your father but your family and, and kind of where it all started and what that will mean for you guys tomorrow night. Right, you know, my, my dad was always a hometown boy. Uh, he had so many fond memories from his playing days at Foley, they they really were one hell of a team. I think it was 29 or 1 or something where he only had one loss in all of high school, mm-hmm. and I believe it was to Viger. Uh, and I didn't realize that they were playing Robert Still, That is even more fitting. He would talk about playing Robert Still uh, plenty of times when I know growing up in, in high school. I went to Gulf Shores High School, and they were one of the teams we played. And when Alexa and I would be cheerleading, he'd always – come out to every game and start reminiscing. <laughs> it is, it, it means a lot to us. And, you know, to be honored by his high school alma mater, by the Pro Football Hall of Fame, hometown Hall of Famer program, you know, right after following his induction in Canton, really couldn't be more of a fitting tribute. Well, Marissa, we really appreciate you joining us here on the program. And again, congratulations to you and the rest of the Stabler family on the just continuous honors that uh, your father, Ken Stabler, continues to accumulate, and rightfully so, and really look forward to tomorrow night's hometown Hall of Famer program that you talked about and we outlined. And, uh, uh, you know, even though he may not be there, he'll still be the coolest guy in the stadium, in my opinion, tomorrow night. (laughs) I agree, and I I certainly think he'll be there in presence and in spirit and – um, I know he wouldn't be, couldn't be more happier to be to be honored at Foley High School because, you know, he always stayed true to his roots and he never forgot where he came from. Good stuff. Thank you so much, Marissa, and, and congratulations once again, and uh, and good luck to you in the future. Thank you so much.